you know what I want to talk about is there's the and the topic the hidden purpose of the mind and I don't mean of what we've called divine mind or higher knowledge or higher thought because we can use what we have to empower ourselves to the fullest extent in every way, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. Uh, but all, it's, it's, it's an inside job. And the mind, this false mind that everybody's using, that the thoughts are flowing through in the various languages, um, but we've also realized that the languages were manifested from the same source because they have all the similarities. Just like we know that all of us who uh, are human beings and animal beings, you know, because the animal bodies, but human bodies, not animal bodies, the human body. But we are divine beings. So we're also beyond what's called human or animal or insect or, you know, all of these, these um, uh, bodily designations. And the, the mind is, ab is about thinking, analyzing, calculating, figuring out, and it's basically fear-based. And if you look at what the hidden purpose of the mind is in that, that false mind and the false ego, that, that um, uh, identity that we make up with words, and you take a look at how, what, all the words, write them down, that you use to identify who you are. And then when you write them down, you see it's, these words are made of letters that have sounds that also have a number and have a meaning. So because of uh, how creative we are, and this is who we are, this is our nature. So when the hidden purpose of the mind is basically to destroy you, is not your friend. And if you listen to it and what it says about you and it says about others and it tells you what to do and it tells you this, it's the fear always. And, it, and, and you could feel that, see, uh, the more sensitive you become, and you're probably an empath, and very empathic, and you pick up all of this energy and the feelings of people's thoughts, the meanings they've given them, the emotions that they're generating, all of this. And it's um, when you get more and more people who are all lined up with the same mind, the same focus, the same beliefs, the same thoughts, the idea, and that's why you have the thought police, which is basically, if you look at what the narratives are about in the world with all the stories, my story, their story, his story, her story, ba -ba -da -da, and always trying to convince us. See, you have to look at this. All words are lies because they cannot ever tell the truth about who we are. Even when I say I, my, I, who I really am as a spirit soul, those are still letters and sounds and words put together as a vibration that generates light. And you have to get this. You are not light. You generate light. And you have your own light. You, you don't go to somebody else's light. And the real key is, and we say, well, you are a light being, so then you're measurable and you're now a material thing. You're, you know, you're a, you're a blip on a computer screen. This is what, like, uh, this is what people are taught in the mind. And so you have all these philosophies, you have all these belief systems, you have all these cultures, which is fine. I think diversity is great, especially when we, when we're centered in who we really are beyond the mind beyond the, the, the need to calculate, uh, add up, uh, figure it out, all this, because we're beyond intelligent. Intel, I gen, you know, is that we're beyond all of this. And if, when you look at the hidden purpose of the mind, it's to control you. It's to usurp your creative powers to give that power to the thoughts of the mind, the beliefs of the mind, and all of these characters on the internet and the TV, and they're all trying to get you to get upset and angry with this one and that one, and to believe this, and to circulate your money over here, and, and it's really great. You vote with your dollars, too. That's another way. But you also you vote with your focus, your intelligence, what you, what you wa watch, what you in any of that kind of thing, um, it's the mind. And 
when you look at what the real hidden agenda is and the purpose of it and you can tell what it's doing all those things I said years and years and years ago on my television programs in this in everything don't watch horror stories and movies you'll manifest it oh no I like to get scared and you pay for it and this is you see nobody cares more about well they actually do there's a lot of people who care more about you than you care about yourself and the real care because they know who you are and they know that you can end your suffering immediately. 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 And the suffering and pain always are in the mind. Analyzing, figuring out what they said, he said, gossip, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? It's exhausting. So it's like when I work with people, the deal is, it, you know, you could go to somebody who's going to listen to years and years and years of your stuff and this story and that story and they did this and go on because it's like you're 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 absorbed in in that's basically narcissism and it never leads to real happiness it never leads to bliss it never leads to that that joy of the being it's this obsession with my story you know really and you know there's something that some books or something to say that you're not special well that's a lie Everybody's special, you see. It's not this, all this, or all that. It, it's both. You're special and not special, you see. You're, 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 um, you like it and you don't like it. It's, they're all, it's just two sides of the same coin. It's the mind is duality. Duality, scare city. And when you enter a store or you enter any place, it's the entrance. Just like on the computer, we enter. That's the end, the trance that's in there. It's a hypnotic trance because it, it's how the mind functions. And when you understand how really something functions and you've been identifying with these thoughts, you're the, you've been the thinker. But it isn't, the, it isn't being the thinker that's important, it's being the knower and then you can select your words and you, you, you use your powers of imagination and emotion and feeling and all of this. Uh, and when you do this, the very pleasure and joys and happiness and, and par paradise that people keep seeking if I get it when eternal life, you already have eternal life. You are eternal. If somebody offers you eternal life, really? You already have it. It's who you are. And it's that kind of thing. So when you understand the real purpose of the mind, the mind doesn't control you anymore. And when you do that, the energy you have, the vitality to have, the joy you have, the enthusiasm you have, simply from just being, you see. So take a nice deep breath. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you want to just keep working at being in the now. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm.